In this problem, we have two logarithms, and the question is to write this as a single logarithm whose coefficient is 1. So we have a plus between the two logs, so the idea here would be to use something called the product rule. However, let me show you what the product rule looks like. It says if you have the log base b of x times y, the product rule says that this is the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. So whenever you have a plus and you have two logs, you can just write a single log and multiply what's inside. The thing is, there's a 2 here. So we have to first get rid of this 2. To do that, we can use what's called the power rule. The power rule says if you have a number in front of a log, you can just bring it up here and make it the exponent. So let's go ahead and do that first. So this is the log base a of z minus 1 squared plus log base a of 3z plus 2. So a good first step would be to take this 2 and to uh, bring it up there. So now we can use the product rule for logs, right? We have two separate logs. This will become a single log. This will be log base a of, and I'm going to put a big parenthesis here and a big one here, and then basically you just multiply this times this. So you would get z minus 1 squared times 3z plus 2. And that's actually it, right? We're done. We've written this as a single logarithm whose coefficient is 1, right? There's a 1 here. Uh, I believe the reason the, the question says that is because they want to make sure you don't have a number here. Like if you had a 5 here, you could bring it up and using the power rule. So they want to make sure you use all the rules and write this as a single logarithm. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.